Hello and welcome to Ticker Tapes. Today, we're taking a look at high growth equities, specifically Tesla, Airbnb, Alibaba, Block, and Microsoft. So let's get into it. It's been a tough week for Tesla, with shares falling heavily. But investment bank Morgan Stanley doesn't seem to be phased. And in fact, they've raised their Tesla price target to $1,300, up from $1,200. The reason is simple. Tesla is extending its lead over other EV manufacturers, and that's positive, not just for Tesla, but for the broader sector. Elsewhere, Tesla also signed a deal with Talon Metals to secure a domestic supply of nickel, a key component in EV production. Tesla will buy 75,000 tons of nickel and other metals over the next six years, which will come from Talon's Tamarack mine in Minnesota. Airbnb stock fell last week, too, and there was some insider trading in the stock as well with former COO Belinda Johnson selling 20,000 shares at $167.16 to $3.34 million. Johnson relinquished the position in 2019 to spend more time with her family but retained a seat on the company's board. Airbnb received a downgrade from broker Piper Sandler, who cut their recommendation on the stock from overweight to neutral and slashed their target price to $169 per share from $215 a share. The broker's analysts believe that the long-term story for Airbnb is one of steady recovery, but current uncertainties over COVID and Wall Street expectations are just too elevated and justify the downgrade. It takes two views to make a market, they say, and investment bankers Jeffries took the opposite view and issued a buy recommendation and a $220 target. Alibaba bucked the prevailing downward trend in technology stocks over the last week and traded higher. Those gains came despite the fact that Citi cut their target price on the stock from $216 from $234 and reduced its estimates for fiscal Q3 and full-year earnings. In fact, Citi wasn't the only firm to trim its price target on Alibaba. JP Morgan cut its target to $180 from $210. However, Alibaba does have some fans and influential ones at that. Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's business partner, has been buying the stock, or at least the company he chairs has been. The Daily Journal Corporation has been quietly buying Alibaba over recent weeks and has doubled its investment. Block, the newly named holding company for Square and Afterpay, saw its stock hit hard last week and is down by close to 40% over the last three months, with shares appearing to track the price of Bitcoin lower. Perhaps not surprisingly, Block was downgraded with Canada's RBC cutting its price target to $203 from $295 and to $250 from $315 at Brokers Truist. Kathy Wood's ARK Investments bought 121 700,000 shares in Block last week, but in truth, that barely dented the negative sentiment surrounding the stock. Microsoft fell last week, and the sell-off was driven by weak non-farm payrolls data that showed job creation in December was well below expectation and an increasingly hawkish Federal Reserve. Some on Wall Street view the weakness in Microsoft stock prices as temporary. Jefferies raised its target price on the company to $400, up from $375, and said that despite a 39% outperformance against the iShares expanded tech software sector ETF in 2021, there's room for more, and that Microsoft's valuation provides downside protection for investors. Microsoft will report earnings on January 25th.